Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV, and I've got uh, yet another uh, 45 revolver. Now, if you watch my other videos, I did one on South American budget 45s, and there were two 1937 um, Smith and Wesson Brazilian contract revolvers I covered, and those were essentially the M1917 revolver, but those were made for a Brazilian contract and sold to Brazil. So this is actually a military surplus M1917, and this is a Smith & Wesson one. Um, the big difference between the Colt and the Smith & Wesson is obviously the actions. Smith & Wesson, you push in, you release cylinder, Colt, you pull back. All the differences between Colt and Smith & Wesson. Well, the other thing that was different, because these were made for military contracts, so they're essentially, other than the action, were the same. The Smith has a little line... Um, recess cut in the cylinder so it head spaces on the um, lip of the cartridge or the case mouth um, so you can actually shoot these without the star moon clips whatever you want to call them and so you can shoot these with just loose 45 ACP rounds and then push them out with a pencil when you're done but um, other than that not a huge difference these were very common um, service revolvers and they were also very commonly used um, after the war um, you'd see a lot of them and, and even they, they sold these in large numbers just to the general public as commercial guns um, the big difference with the military ones is you'll see they have the lanyard lanyard swivel down here so you could actually hook it to yourself and if you dropped it when you were loading or something it wouldn't go away it's stamped US Army model 1917 um, and then there's some ordinance marks, usually some acceptance, uh, different stamps on them from which inspector at the plant made sure that the gun met specs. So this one is actually um, an original finish. Um, it hasn't been reblued or anything like that. And it has what I think are the correct grips on it. Um, but these are great shooting guns. Smith, um, Smith and Colt both put quite a bit of effort into guns at this point in their um, manufacturing so these shoot awesome now the trigger is a little bit heavy for what we consider on a modern revolver but uh, once you can get over that double action trigger pull um, they're they're good shooting guns and, and there is quite a bit of gunsmith knowledge and working knowledge on tuning up these triggers um, the the larger end frame smiths um, one of the Brazilian contracts I know um, has someone rework the trigger so, but you'll see these quite often, and, and really this design evolved from the Colt New Service, which was the 45 Long Colt double action revolver that Colt came out with in 1907, I believe, or 1909, I think it was, pardon. And uh, they were used all the way up through like World War II, um, mainly like tankers and um, drivers and people that didn't necessarily need a 45 1911 they would get a shooter revolver support you know back back of the line type people would have these so pretty common and i think pilots also commonly receive these um because they weren't necessarily going to need it unless they went down and then would they actually be able to fight off the whole army by themselves no so they would have six shots and beyond that you probably just want to surrender and, <laughs> and hope for the best so but definitely these are these are awesome guns a uh, neat piece of military surplus easy to find 45 ammo you know that's one of the things i really like for something i like to shoot so if it's something i can commonly walk into walmart and find the ammo for cheap 45 is still a very common caliber easy to shoot the moon clips are a little harder to find you can find them easily online but like i said the advantage with the smith and wesson version of the 1917 is that it does have those recesses in the cylinder so you can get away with just using a pencil. But for Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris saying thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And if you've got any other ideas for videos you'd like to see or certain guns you'd like to see me review, I can uh, pull one out and uh, do a video for you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.